everybody. Today I'm going to review the Uvex Bionic Shield model S8510. Now this is a full face shield that's designed to be a secondary form of protection. You do still need to use a standard pair of safety glasses underneath of it. But when you put the two together, that means you're going to have full facial protection as well as two different layers protecting your eyes. And that's really important when you're dealing with metal. Let's say you're drilling metal, cutting it, or grinding it. The smallest piece can go flying through the air, end up in your eyes, and that can quickly turn into an expensive trip to the emergency room. The other nice thing about it, it's going to protect you from shop chemicals. And my first experience with that firsthand was when I was a lot younger and I was dealing with a Honda idle air control valve. We had it taken off the back of the intake and was trying to clean it out to prevent replacing it. And when I squirted the carburetor cleaner into the hole, almost all of it shot back out and got in both of my eyes. I had to run to the house and then rinse it in the faucet for like 20 minutes. And luckily I didn't have any long term damage, but if I didn't have that source of water, I very well could have. If I had this on, it would have gotten all over the front of the shield, probably damaged the plastic, but I wouldn't have been harmed. And the worst thing I would have had to do is pop this out of here and pop a new lens in place. So what I want to do in this video is show you not only the different features that they have built into this, we're going to see how it actually fits, and I'm going to show you how to adjust it because this really is a one-size-fits-all piece of safety equipment. Here's a closer look at the Bionic Shield. Now I want to point out that the clear lens that you see is going to be the standard lens that comes with this. However, when you first take it out of the package, it's going to look like it's blue. And the reason for that is there is a protective film on both sides of the lens to prevent it from getting scratched during shipping. So when you take it out and the lens looks blue, what you need to do is actually remove it from the face of the bionic shield and then go ahead and just pull the film off of both sides. Now once you do that, you can pop it right back into place and it's going to look exactly like this. Removing and installing the lens is very easy to do and this is actually the first step that you'll probably take once you open the box up because this clear plastic is going to have that blue protective film on it. Now what you're actually going to want to do is grab onto the lens on both sides and then we're just going to push it out. There's a little groove right here as well as a groove on the other side and what we'll do is one side at a time. So that side will pop out. Now we'll go ahead and do this side and then finally the top portion we'll just fold that down and then pop it out from behind the lip. Now on the bottom if you notice there is going to be a little hole and that's going to line up with a little tab right here where the chin is. When you take your replacement lens, that's the first part you want to go ahead and install. Line the hole up with that little tab. Just go ahead and slide the two together. Now this top portion, we're going to fold it underneath, and then we'll install the two sides. They're going to slide right in their respective grooves. And really, in just a matter of seconds, we've completely removed, as well as installed, a brand new lens. The portion that your head's actually going to sit in is adjustable not only in height, but also circumference. Now I want to point out it's very easy to adjust. This little knob right here, what you're going to do is press that in and then turn it. And if you turn it one direction, it's going to tighten it up. If you turn it the other direction, it's going to loosen it. And once you let go, it's going to lock everything in place. Now on the front of here is actually a felt pad. So that's going to be up against your forehead. And it's not going to be solid plastic against you causing irritation. This is going to be very soft like the inside of a hat. To give you a first hand view at how this can protect you from shop chemicals, I'm not going to put it on my head and then spray it with a foaming glass cleaner. I'm actually going to put it on top of the camcorder. So this should give you a real life scenario. Let's say you're dealing with brake cleaner or carburetor cleaner. Some comes back and hits you in the face. If you don't have any protection, it could blind you or seriously injure you very quickly. But what we'll do is just go ahead and spray the lens. This should be exactly what you would see no matter what type of chemical it was. And really, in just a matter of seconds of an accident, you can go ahead and pop the bionic shield off of your face and everything's still going to be okay. When you don't need that added layer of protection, it easily folds up out of the way because it's on a hinge. Now you can see right now it's completely away from my face. I could have a normal conversation with somebody or see exactly what I'm doing. And then let's say I want to fire the bench grinder back up and work on some metal. To get that added layer of protection, I'll just grab onto it, pull it down, and now I'm fully protected. 
I need to make some custom guide pins to line up a head gasket and head correctly on a vehicle I'm working on. And the way I'm going to do that is to use the old head bolts that came off the vehicle that are going to be replaced anyway, and we're going to cut the heads of those off. I can thread these directly into the block and make sure everything's going to line up and nothing's going to move around on me. Now I could use a hacksaw to cut these off. It would be a slow process, but it would work. However, I want to go a lot faster. I'm going to be using a cordless angle grinder along with a cutoff wheel to slice the heads off of these. And it will be a very fast process, but it's going to throw a lot of sparks. That's where the face shield comes into play. I have my standard safety glasses on already, but when I double that with the protection of the face shield, it's going to make sure none of those sparks and none of that metal ends up in my face or my eyes. So now you've seen the UVEX Bionic Shield for yourself. This fits great, it's very easy to adjust with that knob on the back and it doesn't go anywhere on you. And because it is designed to be used along with a standard pair of safety glasses, when you put the two of these together, then you have two layers of protection blocking things from getting in your eyes. That's extremely important just like in that clip I showed you of me cutting the bolt head off. Sparks were flying all over the place. And if I didn't have this on, they very easily could have gotten my eyes. But because this wrapped around my entire face, the sparks were hitting this and nothing got through. So it really minimizes the risk of you accidentally hurting yourself. Now I do want to point out one negative that I'm really not happy about as far as the bionic shield goes. And because the frame extends so far back, almost to where my ears start, I cannot use the standard pair of hearing protection that I really like to use in the shop. This is the type that goes over your head and completely covers up both ears, but because it is going to hit the actual frame of the bionic shield, you cannot use the two of these together. And instead, to have hearing protection, you really need to use the type that actually push into your ear, which is the type you would use like at a shooting range. Now, some people absolutely hate this style, so if you are one of those people, the bionic shield's probably not going to be for you. Now lastly, I do want to point out this is made in the USA and it's found online for roughly about 30 bucks. So even though that's a little bit of an initial cost, the first time you save yourself a trip to the hospital, it's going to pay for itself many times over. If you like this video, please click like. If you like my channel, please click subscribe. And thanks for watching.